about to kick into some papaya. If you haven't seen my videos, what I eat every day, I post it on my main channel, this channel, even Duran Riders. Just type in what I eat in a day, Duran Rider. Because I want to show people what I actually fucking eat in a day. So many people talk about diet, nutrition, but you don't ever see what they eat in a day. Or you see one video from them. <laughs> I'm being guilty of this myself. I can't believe it's taken me so many years to actually go, hang on, people really want to see what you eat in a day. Every fucking mouthful, what you eat and drink. So when I'm putting in calories, I put it in the video. I've been doing it for the last 30 days. Now, here's a quick question we got from a good friend of mine regarding runners. A lot of attention in the ultra running scene on the high fat diets. We have Timothy Olsen is a winner of the Western States two ties. Course record holder John Olsen, world champ at 24 hours, American, American record holder, 100 miles this year. Zach Bitter, is it? Ran the fastest 50 miles in 31 years last month. Mike Morton, American record holder at 24 hours, Badwater winner. Uh, my friend's written, these guys are all on high fat diets. Big into bacon, cheese, and anything super high fat, super low carb. It's astounding that they've all been killing it and getting better each year while eating this way. Goes to show that the diet war is very much alive, man. Blah, blah, blah. We talk about high fat isn't guaranteed the fail that people like to think it is or like to say it is. Um, blah, 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 blah. So my friend's asking for some sort of, you know, clarification saying do it what's up well my friend is sincere but sincerely wrong because my friend's a busy guy he doesn't have time like I do to read everyone's blog and spend a few hours looking at stuff my friend's a busy guy so he just reads what is there and that's what all there is I have time to fucking a lot of probably too much time on my hands to look up what people actually are doing so I've done a bit of blogging, a bit of blog looking, a bit of blog stalking. <laughs> Social media analyst is a new word for it. stalker. We have Tim Olson. Let's get it first. Tim Olson, sponsored by First Endurance. Favorite bev first, what is First Endurance? First Endurance is a sports gel company. They do sugary drinks and sports gels. A sports gel is basically. It's a, it's a, I don't need plastic bags around here, but it's basically you get plastic. Here we go. It's, imagine this is a plastic bag, a little small one. That's the size of a gel, all right? This is a, a gel right here. That's the size of a gel, roughly. You get your fruit, you can put it for the factory, and you got the gel. It's just full of sugar. Maltodextrin, fruit sugars, sucrose, glucose, fructose, whatever. It's the gel here, about 27 to 30 grams of carbohydrates. And even honey's a popular one. Basically simple sugars. So Tim Olson sponsored by First Endurance, which is a sugar company. I'm not sure if you can be a low carber and sponsored by a sugar company at the same time. It's like saying, I'm a vegan, but I'm sponsored by McDonald's and I eat at McDonald's. <laughs> it's like, um, McDonald's send me food each month to eat. It's like, well, First Endurance send Tim food to eat. He's not a low-carb athlete. He admits he's not low-carb. He says, I love my fruits, vegetables, sweet potatoes, rice, corn tortillas, etc. But what happens is the paleo world just gets a sniff of something, and then they just run with it. And unless you've got time to really look it up, you just go, oh, that must be how it is. People wouldn't lie or exaggerate, would they? Yes, they do. So Tim, high-carb athlete, thousand percent. High carb athlete. What does he eat during his races? Ketogenic diet? Bacon lard? No. Vespers, first endurance, gels, fruits, cookies, brownies, coke, mist. What's his, what's his favorite name? It's mist, some mountain mist drink he drinks. It's just caffeine and sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar is what these athletes are running on. So Tim Olsen, high carb runner. Next one, John Olsen, world champ at 24 hours. Can't really find what John eats. Um, can't find anything on his daily diet. He doesn't. He hasn't done a blog entry since May, so who knows about John? Can't objectively say otherwise. But I'll guarantee. I'll put fifty thousand fucking dollars on it. He's smashing in the carbs, and I'll put fifty thousand dollars on it as well. 
double or nothing. He's smashing in the carbs on race day as well. None of these guys are eating a fucking ketogenic diet on race day or in heavy load training. Ever. Bullshit. I'll put $100,000 US on it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So we have a next one. Um, Zach. Zach. I did on his blog. He loves his hammer gels and his Vespa gels, which Vespa is basically honey in plastic. It's a gel. You just rip the top off, get your sugars in. <laughs> so he goes the hammer gels and the Vespa gels, sugars and honey, simple sugars. So the notion that Zach Bitter is a low carb athlete is bullshit. Last one we have Mike Morton. Uh, Mike Morton, I've got a little, here's a little snippet from his blog, right? I've been getting questions on the ketogenic diet. The questions are from one end of the spectrum to the other. Some general health to performance issues while in ketosis. I'm convinced that the diet is perfect for my athletic aspirations. Recovery's improved and I feel a level of energy curve. I don't ever bonk during races or training. During the Western States, I consume maybe 1,200 calories through Coke, a couple of gels, hard candy, and food at aid stations. <laughs> and he goes on with something, how he loves Vespa gels. I use Vespa and feel like it's a big, a big help. I take a concentrate every two hours during the race. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? It's hilarious. So we have a guy, and he, he's... <laughs> He's so out of it or what? It's so confused. It's so sincere. It's sincerely wrong. In a little blog entry, I put this gel down. In a little blog entry, he's saying, "I do a ketogenic diet." I need to say, "I love Vespa gels because they just—they're they're such a help." <laughs> Vespa gels are pure sugar, pure sugar calories. <laughs> but it's saying ketogenic diet works really good, but I run on sugar. It's like me saying, "I'm wearing a blue shirt. Blue shirt makes me run faster." And you see me on race day, I'm wearing a fucking red shirt. But it's blue, isn't it? Is it's got a blue tag on it? Oh no, it's white. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> See, we've got to be objective. 1,000% no such thing as a high performance low carb run on the planet, period. I'll put $100,000 on it. $100,000, mark my word. $100,000 on it. Not a single elite level athlete winning big races on a low carb diet, ketogenic diet. A low carb diet is under 100 grams of carbohydrate per day. Not a fucking hope in this world. Not even the best runners on the best EPO, blood doping, testosterone, human growth hormone, the whole fucking works, the whole oxygen vector doping program could win any race, maybe not even 100 meter sprint on a low carb diet. 100%, 100%. You put the Kenyans into the ultra world, all those fucking records would tumble overnight. Drugs or no drugs, overnight would tumble. Why? What would happen? What do the Kenyan diet guys eat? What do the Kenyan runners live on? What's their favorite food of a Kenyan athlete? What is it? It's called ugali. Is it bacon lard? No, it's corn. Corn meal. Ugali is the staple food of the world's fastest runners. In Ethiopia, across the board, you got Ethiopia, you got teff, which is wheat. So corn and wheat fuel the world's fastest runners. I've trained with the Kenyans. I've eaten with the Kenyans in Thailand. They come over there and train and race for the Bangkok Marathon, etc. I've sat and I've talked with them. And I'm like, what's the most important food for you? He says, everyone says, Ugali. Ugali water, Ugali water. <laughs> I actually had a video of it, but it fucked up on my camera. But I'll be back there again and talk with them. Just ask any, go to any Kenyan. Just look on YouTube, what the Kenyan runners eat. Ugali, Ugali, Ugali. Bananas, rice, corn, Ugali. Sugar. They pour so much sugar in the tea, you put the spoon in, the spoon stands up straight. So again, just in case it wasn't clear, not a single high level elite runner on the planet doing a low carb diet. Under 100, 150 grams of carbs a day, never gonna happen. Ketogenic diet, <laughs> So there you go, carbs for the win. World's fastest runners in history eat a high carb, low fat diet. Would they go better if they swapped the corn for fruit? For sure, but the corn's easy to get, it's cheap, it's, you can get it. The fruit is better, but logistically fucking hard to arrange. That's the bottom line. If you want to be lean, high carb diet. If you want to be a fucking fast runner, your fastest, 
It's got to be high carb, low fat. There's no, there's no dispute. There's no dispute. There's no debate. All the science points towards it. Anyone else wants to talk otherwise, I'll put $100,000 on the fucking table. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Put your money where your fucking mouth is, low carbers, please. Hello, Fruit Bats. It's Free the Banana Girl. I wanted to do just a quick, uh, this is a super quick video about an update on my belly. It is still flat.